Welcome back to the Wave Wavies. I'm Shock Plays, and as always, um, every time I do videos, my poodles are always in the videos. Always. There goes Kyra. Kyra, what's up, baby? Show me some love, baby. There goes Sophie. Sophie is back to normal. Look at her. Sophie. Hey, girl. Hey, Sophie. Precious is over there. And then there goes Little Man over there. I'm rocking my Bioshock socks, guys. Got my Bioshock socks. That's some pretty long feet. But got my Bioshock socks on. They're pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be unboxing... Uh, I got two for some reason. I don't know why, but we're going to be unboxing some Loot Gaming stuff. Uh, basically, Loot Gaming is a monthly subscription you can sign up for where there's at least between four to six items. And you always get a random uh, a random t-shirt um, in whatever size you pick. So um, I don't know why I got two. I know last month I didn't get the Banjo-Kazooie item um, that I was supposed to get. But for some reason, I got two. So... We're going to dive into it and, you know, see what we got. Um, before I start, I do have a lot of, you know, game rooms decent. You know, there's a lot of Blu-ray movies and stuff like that, statues, a ton of pot figures on each side, and, you know, and all kinds of stuff. So uh, just check out my older videos and you guys can see a lot of different stuff that I've, uh, you know, collected and unboxed. All right, let's set this up a little bit. All right, we're probably going to do the small one first since it's in the beginning. Um... This will be my last Loot Gaming unboxing video, guys, so I would not be doing any more of this. Sophie, no, stay. So this is going to be my last Loot Gaming unboxing. All right, let's get into it, guys. Massive shout-out to everybody on the wave um, for all the support and everything, all the newcomers. I do do unboxing videos. Eventually, I'm going to get a camera and probably set it up so you guys can actually see me and everything. But um, this is one of the boxes right here. Kind of small, but not too bad. All right, let's give you guys a little look inside. Ooh, okay, so I see a couple goodies in here that you guys kind of see. Now, nothing too special. Got a couple controllers on the box. Like I said, you always get a random t-shirt, um, any type of game. It could be something old school, new school, and that's one of the reasons why I really love these. And they do come in different colors, so we're probably going to start with the t-shirt right away. Let's get the t-shirt out and open it. I'm actually wearing a Zelda Wind Waker t-shirt. All right, but this is red. I actually like red. Blue's my favorite color, though. Okay, this is actually pretty nice. See if you guys can see it. All right, there goes some of the shirt. Looks like this is a Dungeons and Dragons t-shirt. I actually like this. Got Dungeons and Dragons at the top. Very nice t-shirt. It's pretty big. Um, I usually get about a large. I'm not like big at all, but I usually go up an extra size. Um, so Dungeons and Dragons t-shirt. Nothing on the back. Um, they're pretty much just frontal t-shirts, but actually pretty cool. A really nice t-shirt. I'll definitely be wearing uh definitely be wearing this. So like I said, some of these t-shirts probably are about maybe ten bucks. So these crates are usually about thirty or thirty-five dollars. So that's the t-shirt that we got in. Um each time, each month that you get one of these, you always get an exclusive pin. At least you guys get a little close up of the pin. Not really sure where that's from. It looks like Harry Potter to me, but I know it's not Harry Potter. Not really sure what this is from. It's probably from some old school retro game that I probably don't remember. So I have about 10 of these that I'm, I just keep in the plastic. Um, We got a couple notes here. Oh, that actually kind of sucks. So there was another item in this box that was supposed to be in here. A Dark Souls, a Dark Souls item. Um, Angel Sword and a bunch of other people were big fans of Dark Souls. Basically saying there was a manufacturing delay with the Dark Souls item. We'll be shipping it at a later date. So I guess there's one item missing. And celebrate Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie, guys, is one of my favorite games of all time. I love Banjo-Kazooie. I loved it better than the original Mario 64. A lot of people might hate me for that, but I love Banjo-Kazooie. Um, and it says the Banjo-Kazooie 10 print was originally supposed to ship with your loot game gaming teamwork gear, but we had to collect a bunch of jiggies and defeat a witch to get it. So it seems like that's what's in here. And this is this is actually pretty cool. See, I, I'm a, I guess people call me a nerd, but I, I really love collecting just simple stuff. So basically, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, that was uh, pretty much 20-year anniversary of uh, Banjo-Kazooie. And basically got a little license plate, Banjo-20. Banjo-Kazooie, and then you can pr put it up somewhere if you want to. Um, I'll probably just keep this in the plastic. Like I said, that's actually really cool. Um, I was hoping maybe a collectible or a statue, but you know, I'll definitely, uh, I definitely like this. So I finally got my um, Banjo Kazooie item that I was supposed to get next month. So this is this is really cool. All 
Um, okay. This is basically the front cover of God of War. Um, if you have not played this game, this is probably one of Sony's best PlayStation exclusives that's been on the PS4 along with games like Bloodborne, um, Until Dawn's Great, um, of course Uncharted 4 was amazing, you know, so the Hellblade, you know, there's a bunch of good, like, you know, console exclusive and PS4 exclusive games. I guess this is what you call a lithograph, um, basically a licensed product, nothing on the back. Um, I do have a few of these, so I'm probably going to keep this in the plastic. You know, and hanging up with my other ones. So, that's what else is in here. And then we have, looks like a... Elder, Elder Scrolls Skyrim. A Dovakin, Dovakin Helmet Replica. So, this is basically, I guess, a replica box. Let's turn it over. Made by Bethesda. Bethesda makes a lot of great games from Skyrim. Um, you know, Fallout. You know, they're even uh, published uh, The Evil Within and just a bunch of different other games. So... A lot of people love Skyrim. Skyrim is one of my favorite, but I was more of a Morrowind slash El uh, Oblivion type player. So let's uh, let's open this up. Let's see if we can open it up. Some of these I'm gonna keep in the box, but we can kind of open these up. Probably just give you guys a like a look. Like I said, some of this stuff I might take out and just put on my shelves. But let's give a let's give a little look. Actually, you know I'll probably take this out. That's pretty cool. So here it is. Not not too big, not too shabby. It's a little helmet. Um, it is kind of flimsy. Like I said, it's not made of the best in the world. Probably that PVC type stuff. Uh, kind of plasticky, but you know, decently well made. Uh, not easily breakable, but you know, that's pretty much what the helmet looks like. Try to get it into focus. There's no sound or anything like that. So this would definitely go on uh definitely go on one of my shelves so not bad and then of course every month you always get a poster um, I probably will be giving these away in my 2k update um, once I hit 2k wave riders on the channel I will be giving away a couple blu-ray movies I think 15 in total and I'll probably giving away a couple of posters as well so Looks like we have a Dungeons and Dragons poster. That's really, really, really cool. Nice, good artwork. Got loot gaming at the bottom. Basically, I gotta fight the dragon. Then on the back, it pretty much tells you what you get. Oh, Medieval. Okay. I'll be honest with you. A lot of people have been wanting to reboot. I think Medieval was the game that people have been talking about. I'll be honest with you. I have never played that game. So, um, a lot of people are probably gonna be like, "What?" But I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I don't know that. And I guess that was a Dark Dark Soul set right there. That was basically supposed to be an 8-bit pin set. Loot Crate Edition, and then basically you can get in on some surprises. So, definitely not bad. I'd say this, uh, this crate wasn't too bad. Um, I'd probably maybe give it about a B-. minus. Not every crate you get is going to be amazing. Like I said, there is going to be some months where items are not in there, and they're just, you know, not really going to be that well he put together but this one's pretty decent i say you know not too bad um banjo kazooie was worth it for me uh, that's one of the reasons why i wanted to get it so all right let's move this stuff out of the way over here okay. all right this one's a lot heavier um I guess this is the second loot gaming crate that we're going to be unboxing. So this one's here a little bit longer and a little bit heavier. So let's uh, see what's inside of it. Ooh, okay. Here you guys go. Nice little close-up view of it. Looks like we got Sonic. My girlfriend is a huge fan of Sonic. She loves it. Every time we make love, I'll be like, gotta go fast. <laughs> but uh, looks like we got a Sonic item. Looks like we got a Doom item in here. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, what I've read, I think this is the metal one. So I'm not sure what that other crate I got um, was for. But we, uh, here's another loot, loot crate. Let's uh, let's let's open the Doom thing. Why not? All right, here we go. Doom. I grew up playing a lot of Doom. Um, Doom three and old school Wolfenstein. So uh, a little package. This might be a necklace of some sort. I'll give you guys a little overview see what's inside a little bit of plastic stuff Ooh. all right 
here we go. Let's see if we can get a uh, throw this thing over here. Right, let's see if we can get a close up. It's really cool. So I'm guessing this is like a. It feels like a. I guess it's a magnet. This metal would make sense. So a little magnet, R real metal. Um, from what it feels like. So definitely probably gonna. I might put that on my refrigerator or put it somewhere in here. I'm not really sure where exactly I'll put it, but let's see if we give you a close. Girl, if your mouth is that wide and you got bottom teeth but no front teeth, really? We got a problem. <laughs> I'm going to call grandma. So not bad, not bad. First item out of the way. A little magnet, so let's do it. God, my veins are crazy. All right. We're going to rock into the t-shirt. Hmm, okay. Looks like it says Spider-Man. Spider-Man Luke Gaming, but there's nothing on this front. And then it's just basically something on the front right there. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Let me try to put it around. There we go. Little spider. That's pretty cool. It's in blue. That's my favorite color. So not a bad T-shirt. I'm. I like the Dungeons and Dragon T-shirt. Definitely a lot better than than this one. All right. Let's get into this. Uh, actually, let's pull out the pin. Ah, my girlfriend would love that. Here we guys go. We got a Sonic pin. That looks really creepy. Um, I might do giveaways of these pins. Maybe eventually, the more and more I collect. But like I said, this is my last loop gaming because trying to build my money and stuff back up and everything and hopefully you know this lady will end up buying my car but that's that's not bad a little sonic pin to go along uh, with my other pins i think i think this is the 10th one i've got so far so very 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 neat this i might end up giving to, to, to patrice basically sonic the hedgehog collector's edition metal sonic collectible figure it's a loot crate exclusive probably can find this on uh, amazon or somewhere if you look at the box art and then at the bottom Metal Sonic was made for the sole purpose of destroying his namesake, Sonic the Hedgehog. Despite never beating his rival, this bad nick totally deserves a spot on your display show. So, some of these I might keep in the box, some of them I might not. Um, let's just take them out and see what he looks like. I probably won't take this one out, just because I might give it to Patrice, but give you guys kind of a look of it. So, we got Metal Sonic right there. It looks like it comes with a base. I don't really want to open this right now, but I want to kind of give you guys just a... You know, overview. 360 model pose of it. So, it's really cool. It's probably about, maybe about two and a half inches um, tall. Not too bad. So, actually, I really, uh, I really like that. So, baby, you might, uh, you might be getting this. I don't know where she'll put it, though, but find somewhere for her to put it. All right, so, not bad. This, this is actually pretty cool. I like, uh, different exclusive type things. Like, you know, this one's basically all metal, so that's really cool. Hmm, Loop Gaming. Oh, looks like Metal Gear Solid. Here we guys go. Big fan of Metal Gear Solid. I know people like uh, Hideo Kojima, so. This is, a, of course, most of these are probably Loop Gaming exclusives. This feels like a mug. Um, If you didn't watch my last video, which I'll probably link it, or you'll see it at the end of the video, Um, I did have a Mario mug, which was amazing. So this kind of, ooh. This kind of looks cool. Bubble wrap. Oh, I'm so addicted to bubble wrap. I could pop this all day long. All right, here we go. Metal Gear Solid, the Foxhound, pretty much uh, glassware. This is pretty cool. I'm already getting fingerprints and everything over it. I don't know if I'll ever drink out of these, but these are really, 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 really cool for you to uh, collect and everything. I probably won't ever drink out of these, and I'll probably always keep them, and you know, maybe wash them every so often. But this is this is really cool. Really cool glassware. Or I might uh, I might put some uh, cran grape juice while I'm uh, drinking the stream. Maybe I'll use this. I don't know. We'll see. But that's not too bad. These probably about a ten to twenty dollar item um, if they're sold in stores. So not bad. Not bad at all. And the last thing in here we have is pretty much another poster, which is a Spider-Man poster. Let's 
go. Spider-Man poster, basically him posing. Got a girl blowing uh, kisses or blowing some bubble gum in the background. Really cool. I have not played Spider-Man yet. Like I said, I haven't, ch haven't had a chance to get it yet. Um, I still need to get Spider-Man and Tomb Raider. But, you know, I'll eventually uh, get that when it comes to, uh, you know, when it comes to getting a chance of where I can get it. Oh, this is a Spider-Punk t-shirt. Pretty cool. But that's some of the stuff you get. So, these are going to be two new posters that's going to be added to the giveaway at, uh, at 2K. So, definitely stay tuned and look out for that. But. Overall, not bad uh, Not bad gaming. Like I said, we have a lot of cool stuff. I still have my horror pack that I need to unbox, but I'll do that some other time. But not bad. I'd say both of these are pretty much worth it. I just have to find somewhere else to uh, put my stuff. But if you guys ever want to look at my gaming tours, um, my unboxing videos, just check my playlist. I have a ton of stuff. This is basically where I do everything. Gaming chair. And my gaming laptop. My Blue Yeti mic. You know, my TV and everything. Um, so... There's a lot of good stuff, um, you know, that you guys can see and everything, collectibles and everything I made. So, but I hope you guys enjoy the boxing video. Like I said, guys, we're getting close to 1900. Um, I'll make another mod, and then once we hit 2K, there's a lot of good stuff that we're going to be giving away. And yes, that is a diet Mountain Dew. I don't drink diet drinks, but I was thirsty. So, but um, much love to all the Wave Riders. I hope you guys always enjoy the content that I put out. Like I said, I try to be the best variety on YouTube, and I will see you guys on the next stream. Wet Wave is out.